This icon of Jesus Christ's liberator is a creation of Brother Robert Lenz, a Franciscan friar who writes icons that captivate our religious imaginations and challenge us to see things in a new way, perhaps the way God intends us to see the world. This icon here is not so much a statement about the racial identity of Jesus, but rather it is a meditation on our capacity to embrace the dignity of every human person. Too often, for a variety of reasons, we throw people away. Pope Francis calls this the throw away culture. So in these times of pandemic, who is cast aside? Who is thrown away? Who is forgotten? Who is left off the list of those who receive attention, assistance, and aid? In 2013, after he was elected Pope, Pope Francis celebrated the evening Mass of the Lord's Supper at a juvenile detention facility. It shocked the world because usually that Mass is celebrated in a grand basilica, such as St. Peter's there in the Vatican. But he took that most important liturgy and put it within the context of a juvenile detention center and washed the feet of 12 residents there, 12 inmates. Yes, during this time of pandemic, we are mindful that there are incarcerated children who need our mindfulness. There are incarcerated parents whose children are at home wondering if their mom or dad is going to be okay. Like Pope Francis, we are mindful of those who are easily cast aside, easily thrown away. The writing here on this icon comes from Matthew 25. Allow me to read it for you. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger and you welcomed me, naked, and you clothed me, ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me.